Hello DP, today is Thursday, April 24th. I'm Kira. And I'm Dallas, and I love LAMP. DP News starts now. The SAT is happening next Saturday, and if you are interested in getting a little more practice, there is a workshop next week set up by the Writing Center. They are super awesome at helping with your essay and providing tips and strategies to help you get a score you want. 25 is the max amount of people who can participate, so sign up before the spots are all gone. While on the subject of testing, if you are planning on taking a City College math course next year, be sure to sign up outside of Mr. Sofro's room in the counseling office. And remember, when you go and pick up your ticket, be sure to bring your K number. Test days are on May 2nd at 8 and May 16th at 2. DP Drumline is performing tonight at Santa Barbara High School for All City Showcase. This is the only chance to see them perform locally, and they have a set that is going to rock your socks off. Be sure to head on over to SB High School tonight at 7 p.m. to show your support. Mary Poppins starts tomorrow, so purchase your tickets at the box office in the EPAC after school from 3 to 5, or you can get tickets at the dptheatercompany.org. Tickets for all you students are $10 and for adults, $12. Shows continue Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. and Sunday at 3. Any upcoming sophomores or juniors interested in trying out for JV cheer or song tryouts will be next Monday, April 27th, after school at 3.15 in the cafeteria. If any of you have questions, you can go pay Debbie a visit in the Athletic Center. Prom is coming up and tickets go on sale at the beginning of May, but you will not be sold a ticket if you have any existing debt with the business office, library, or PE department. So be sure to check online at the DP web store and the library. Seniors, today is the last day for you to turn in senior awards papers. Any awards, scholarships, or recognitions need to be submitted so they can be announced at the senior awards assembly. Turn in the form to Ms. Rehage's office today. Class officer petitions will be available outside the athletics office on Monday, April 28th. The petitions are for the 2014-2015 sophomore, junior, and senior class officers. You must have attended the mandatory meeting on April 3rd. The Van Shoe competition is heating up and DP Art will need your vote and your support to go to New York. Tune in tomorrow, watch your EDU, and vote to send your team to the finals again. The blood drive is next week and any student over 16 years of age can donate. Visit dpnews.org to sign up online and earn a free movie ticket. Time slots are filling up, so sign up now. Clubs meeting today are AP Studies Club, Special Olympics Club, Astron uh, Astro yep, right. hey, Astronomy. Astronomy. Like yeah, one, three times. Three, two. Clubs meeting today are AP Studies Club, Special Olympics Club, Astronomy Club, Twister Club, Avid Club, Women of Color Club, Band Club, Yearbook, Bilingual Guitar Club, You Are Not Alone Club, Book Nook Club, Tutoring Club, Dream Team Club, Youth for Direct Relief Club, Ideas Club, Social Equality Club, JSA Tutoring Club, Letterman's Club, Triathlon Club, Mesa Club, Surf Club, Nail Club, and Science Club. That's all the news we have today, DP. I'm Kira. And I'm Dallas. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now we're to sports. Good morning guys, I'm Nathan. And I'm Peach. Let's get into your sports news. Our school's tennis team is on the brink of making history. The last time Dos Pueblos' team was atop the Channel League standing was in 1975 when we shared the title with Santa Barbara High School. After smashing the league match competition against San Marcos on Tuesday with an overall score of 13 to 5. We are just one win away from bringing this accomplishment into this millennia. Unfortunately, our track team dropped out of the Channel League dual meet against Ventura on Wednesday. The Cougars won the girls competition 79 to 47.5. However, the boys were victorious 85 to 42. DP throwers John Dickinson and San Matias Carvalas were double winners. Dickinson's threw 52-10 in the shot put and 149-8 in the discus. 
Charger teammates Natalie Clapp and Naima Poindexter finished in a tie for first in the 100 meter. Clapp was second in the 200, running a time of 26.84. Addie Zerner ran away from the field in the 3200, winning by almost a full minute with a time of 10.51.25. Natalie McClure ran her best time in the 1600, running a time of 5.19 and finished second in her heat. It's, she took third in her first race of, in the 800, running 2.29.14. The highlights for the boys include Blake Harrison winning the 200 in 23.70 and taking second place on the 100, running a time of 11.77. Tate Cutcliffe improved his best in the pole vault, winning with a mark of 14.3. Tyler Bradford ran 159.33 to win the 800 meter. Joshua Fry was second with his personal best of 6.2 in the high jump. Track and field has a meet against Ventura today at DP at 2.45, so be sure to come out and support. Well, that's all we have for your sports news today. I'm Peach. And I'm Nathan. Have a dandy day, TP. Hey, Chaz, do you ever want to go surfing at school? Uh, boy, I do, Skylar, but we can't. There's no waves here. Well, well, now we can, with these. Turf surfing this Friday. In the Greek. Wear your beach clothes. <laughs>